so this will officially be my very first bump date or pregnancy update or me coming to you telling you all of my complaints <laughs> about being pregnant i guess um yeah no seriously this would just be like some updates on how my pregnancy is coming along um belly shots how the baby is growing different cravings dreams um symptoms and stuff like that so this will be my very first one yay um so let's start off with my estimated due date is november 11th um which i think is subject to change but as for now with that estimated due date that will put me at um six weeks exactly today um the way my ovulation goes i don't ovulate i don't have a 28 day cycle i have a very irregular cycle um so there is really no way to tell exactly if I'm not tracking my ovulation. And of course, this cycle that I got my BFP, I did not track ovulation. <laughs> so I do not know the exact around about of when I conceived. Um, but going off my last period, it will put me at six weeks today. And it will put my due date at um, November 11th. So, for right now, I don't feel pregnant. I don't have any symptoms that are out of the usual. Um, if you've been following me for a while, um, I always do my cycle updates. And no matter what, I always have regular pregnancy symptoms all the time. Nausea, fatigue, breast tenderness, um, just all of that stuff. It's just regular for me on any given random day. Whereas now, I don't have none of it. Um, besides, I have a little breast tenderness and I have gas. I don't even know if that's a symptom. But <laughs> I haven't had been gas for the past like week or two. Um, but yeah, I um, don't feel pregnant. No. Now, I can say I'm not sleeping usual. Usually, I'm like dead set on 9 o'clock, I'm in the bed, I'm asleep, I'm knocked out. For like this week, I couldn't sleep. Like, I would go to sleep for like an hour, and I'll be up all night. And then I'll sleep for like another hour before it's time for me to wake up. So, that's how that's been going. Husband has been sleeping my usual sleep schedule. So, I guess he'll be getting my symptoms. Um, <laughs> if you know whether that means boy or girl, leave it in the comments. I would like to know just for entertainment purposes. Um, a lot of people say that you can kind of figure out what you're having if the husband has the symptoms versus you. So I would like to know. I don't know which one it is. So if you know, leave it in the comments. That's pretty cool to, I guess, know. Um, but other than that, I don't feel like anything. I haven't had any out of the normal cravings. I'm greedy. Um, so I like almost everything. Um, I've been eating a lot of red lobster biscuits, though. I've been to Red Lobsters twice in like the last two weeks. So maybe that might be a craving. I don't know. But yeah, it hasn't really hit me yet like you're pregnant. So I don't know. But um, I officially went to the doctors and I got my statement saying you're pregnant. <laughs> and they gave me the due date of um, November 11th, which probably is going to change a million times anyway between now and my actual due date but um i ordered these journals um sometime back we've been trying for a while and i honestly felt like it was going to happen a lot earlier on in the past <laughs> and it didn't but i um a while ago maybe about a year and a half ago or maybe even two years ago i ordered this pregnancy journal um and I kind of was like, okay, I guess I'm supposed to start now. Um, it has stuff in here like, you know, how did you find out? A picture of your very first pregnancy test you took. A picture of you now before you got pregnant and stuff like that. And I just 
couldn't bring myself to fill it out just yet. Um, I, like I said, I don't feel pregnant. And I don't feel... Like, I know I got the two lines. I know what that means. But it hasn't hit me yet that I'm having a baby. So... But yeah, it just has stuff in here that you can just fill out and all of that. I felt like this one right here was a lot more um, informational and a lot more serious. So I ordered another one, which is a lot more fun, a lot more festive, a lot more colorful. It has more like activities in it rather than just saying how I feel or whatever, like... It's stuff in here like gives you like pictures of how you're like the size of your baby each week it has stuff in here even for like the dad to do for him to fill out um it's just like you could put your cravings in here it's just a lot more festive than the other one so i got this one i think i want to like this a lot but i still don't feel like i'm ready to fill it out like the beginning portion of it about like how I found out and stuff like that. Like it has a whole congratulations page. I read it, but mm, and I was supposed to fill out the part about me, like my weight before I got pregnant and stuff like that. And I just haven't brung myself to be able to do that just yet. So hopefully this week, I have something to share for you for next week that's in these journals hopefully but then I also got a big fat pregnancy <laughs> activity book this seemed really cool really fun it has like crossword puzzles in here it has like pregnancy related jokes it has like coloring pages like it's really fun I guess so the days like I'm here bored and I don't have anything to do like this summer when everyone goes to Six Flags and able to ride roller coasters I'll be here doing activities in my little activity book like they have those little stories where you put the word in to finish the story it has like crossword puzzles it has word searches a lot of stuff like that and most of it is like funny it isn't like you know serious and bland but um yeah i'm looking forward to this um not today maybe but um hopefully sometime in the future i have to get to a place where i'm feeling pregnant <laughs> to feel like i deserve to be able to fill this out We've been trying for so long and I've been seeing so many negative results from tests and doctors and stuff like that, that I just, it kind of discouraged me a little bit and I want to be happy for myself. It's like everyone else is happy for me. I'm happy about the two lines because I've never seen that before, but it hasn't really hit me like you're pregnant, you're allowed to be happy. So hopefully, I guess sometime in the near future hopefully in the near future um i get that validation but my tummy is normal <laughs> looks as if it did six weeks ago nothing different um boobs might have got a little bigger but they were always was kind of weird like when my period's coming on they get like weird big and tender so that's where i'm at right now i just feel like my normal period boobs <laughs> I guess but yeah so that's my six week update see you at seven weeks or maybe even eight weeks I don't know depends on how much stuff changed between next week and the week after <laughs>